I just want to say a very big thank you on behalf of the medical school. I'm Dr. Martin, third year coordinator of the medical school, and we are very pleased. This will definitely boost our training of our medical doctors. I think this is indeed, this is long overdue. And I think um, we want to commend um, the Vice Chancellor for our efforts and also um, the GGI. And we really want to extend gratitude because this will greatly um, impact our students, greatly impact the lecturers' delivery of courses. And so we see this as um, a stepping stone into the direction that the university is going through the leadership of the Vice Chancellor and in creating, and the faculty, and creating that brand, that UG brand that um, we are working to take international, but we're already international, but going further. So we really want to extend um, from the faculty, from the university community, extend gratitude to the project um, for the efforts and everything that they would have done for to bring us to this work. We have, we can, and we'll be able to train people in courses like the basic life support, things like ACLS, ATLS, PALS, and those things will go a far way in boosting the capacity of the medical school and the medical students. These um, mannequins inside have um, parts that are very similar to the normal parts of the human being. So instead of having to use actual dead people, cadavers, to, um, and live people to practice on, which we used to do, which used to cause a problem with the disposal of the dead bodies and the parts, storage, smells, and, and things like that, we now are able to use these, um, uh, these models over and over and over and again. And they have several of them, as you will see. So a lot of other students will be able to work on these. They can be moved around, which you cannot do with a cadaver. And um, the fundamental impact, apart from the environment and the other impacts, um, is that we are about to do a, a reaccreditation. Um, our medical school, as you know, is accredited, has been accredited for well, many, many decades. It was the only accredited medical school in the country up to recently. And so um, this is going to really boost what the um, College of Medical Sciences, especially that um, department, is going to offer. It fills a very important gap that we used to have, and we really want to thank GGI, so ExxonMobil, um, CNOC, and Hestel um, for their contribution. I always said if there's one lab that we can have, that we should have it to be a skill. If there's two, should be skills in anatomy. Uh, so I think both skills in anatomy lab, um, those are the cornerstone, the foundation um, with respect to, 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 to medical training. And, and you know, before students actually practice with real patients, it's, it's a real opportunity for them to do some of these procedures um, in a um, with the, in the skills lab setting where you have these mannequins. Yeah. So we're happy. We're happy to be able to co to collaborate with um, the medical department here at UG because we understand all too well the importance of having that practical knowledge, that practical experience, and coming from a medical background, having um, the, the anatomy models are very, very important. And it would also aid as students would move forward into their work life and even clinical skills and so on. It would cause like, like a seamless process to occur. So we're grateful to be able to collaborate and we're happy to, to help with the vision that you guys have. So thank you. Thank you.